Hello everybody, this is Data Pioneer from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I'm back out with you again today and I'm back out on my Fedora 31 workstation. Um, there was something that I wanted to show you in my previous video that I didn't get an opportunity to do. Uh, and so I wanted to do that today. And that is, I want to show you an application called TimeShift that I'm using now on my laptop with Fedora 31 workstation. It's a great little uh, application. Um, the application allows you to, uh, to do restore points in uh, Linux, and I think that's uh, great because it's kind of like Windows restore point. Um, uh, works similar to that. And let me go ahead and show you. I don't have it installed right now, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, the software. And we'll get into the software center here and, uh, in Fedora 31 Workstation. And it should be uh, under productivity. Uh, it could be under utilities, but if not, I'll search for it. And it's called Time Shift. Uh, may install it from the from the uh, terminal if I can't locate it. Um, all right, so we're out on here, and let me uh, see if I can find it here. Time Shift. Um, don't see it on the list, but I know it's here. Uh, let me go back out here and let's search for it. Time shift. Should be able to find it. No application found. It's interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let me get into the terminal and let's see if I can find it there. And let's do a sudo dnf search time shift. Get my password. Should be able to locate it here, hopefully. Time shift, um, I've got it set up now with uh, taking a snapshot of my system. Um, every day uh, for five times and then it goes in cycles. All right, so it says uh, system restore tool. Uh, let's do a sudo uh, dnf install time shift. Okay, and get this thing installed. I'm not quite sure why I didn't wasn't able to find it in the software store because that, uh, for Fedora, because it's I know it's there. I'm probably just looking under the wrong thing. I'm not quite sure. Okay, here it is. Time shift uh, 19.01-1. Uh, it says you want to go ahead and install it. Yeah, I do. Let's go ahead and get this installed. It's running the transaction. It's installing the application now. Um, yeah, this is a, a nice system restore uh, application. It does not restore your home directory and roots home directory, although you can ask it to do that, but that's not what it's designed for. Um, it's really not a backup for your home directory. It's, it's basically a system restore tool. And so that's, it says it's completed, so let's go ahead and uh, exit here. And let's get back out to the desktop and get into uh, applications again. And there it is. There's time shift. So let me click on it. Let me bring it up. And it does prompt you for your authentication. And once we get authenticated and get in, I'll show you time shift. All right, so here's the setup wizard for time shift. Um, you can either do an rsync or butterfrost, or you can get help. Um, I did not install uh, Fedora 31 workstation under BTRFS, or what's referred to as butterfuss file system, which has built in, by the way, snapshot capability. Uh, so I'm using the rsync here, and that's what I use on the laptop. Um, I like that um, rsync. And so let me go ahead and click Next. And so it's uh, estimating the system size and asking me to wait here. Um, and you're going to encounter the same thing when you set it up on your system. And I, I'm assuming the best way to go ahead and do this, guys, is just go ahead and bring up your terminal in Fedora 31 workstation and just uh, access it by searching for uh, Time Shift like I did and then installing it like I did. And then you have no problem. You may be able to find it in the software store. I'm not sure why it wasn't there. Um, 
but it's uh, it's there now, at least out on one of my installed apps. Okay, so it's estimating the system size, and it says that the um, uh, select snapshot location. Here's the VBox hard disk uh, SDA one. It's 801 megabyte, one gig here in size. Um, the entire thing is 39 gigs. Okay. So you get 53 gigs here, 53 gigs, and you've got 47 gigs here with 39 gigs free. Um, it says it's not enough space here, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to here and click it. Uh, that's where I'm going to uh, ask um, Time Shift to put the snapshots that it takes, DM1, all right? And so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And here's where you can select your snapshot levels. You can do monthly. Uh, and keep the total number you want here. You could do weekly. Uh, you can, you know, bump this up to, if you want to do more snapshots on a weekly basis. By default, it goes to five uh, snapshots on a daily basis. Um, and the purpose for that is, is that if you make changes in the system, uh, changes to files, uh, things like that, let's say you accidentally delete a file, and this is what's important about it, uh, you can come here and go back to a previous snapshot of the system. If you do five a day, odds are that you're going to be able to find the one that's there prior to when you deleted that critical file. You know, it could be photos, could be an entire album, could be music that you had, could be a lot of things. This could be a critical system file that you were working with and you accidentally deleted as well. But um, this will give you an opportunity to restore that, and there is a restore functionality. You can do hourly as well if you like. However, I wouldn't recommend hourly uh, unless you just want to make sure that you know you get frequent snapshots. And you can do boot as well. Um, here I've got it says stop cron emails from scheduled tasks. I've left it that way. So I'm going to leave it on daily. You can do both. You could do daily and weekly. All right. And so I might take. Uh, two weekly snapshots or let's say four because four weeks in a month or you can go monthly and uh, just say two that'll be fine so I can do daily and monthly and so what this will do is it'll do five daily backups or snapshots rather not backups snapshots of the system state um, and all the files and then it'll do two monthly ones as well now the schedule for this is random and so five times during the day randomly when the system is uh, not busy, uh, will this occur? Uh, it's possible that it may start when you are working on the system, okay? It may slow things down a little bit, um, but it depends. Um, but anyway, you have the capability here of selecting both of these, and uh, at least at a minimum, I would do five daily. And so uh, I'll leave it at that. Let's go ahead and click Next. And here, uh, I'm telling it to exclude Data Pioneer's home directory and exclude the root. If you want to include it but make it hidden, you can do that, okay? However, it's not recommended for you to do that. So I'm going to do exclude, exclude, and then I'm going to do next. And then the setup schedule says here that scheduled snapshots are enabled. Snapshots will be created automatically for selected levels. System can be rolled back to a previous date by restoring to a snapshot. Uh, restoring snapshots only replaces the system files and the settings. Non-hidden files and directories and home directories will not be touched. Uh, this behavior can be changed by adding a filter to include these files. Uh, save snapshots to an external disk instead of the system disk to guard against drive failures. Uh, you can do that as well. Saving snapshots to a non-system disk allows you to format uh, and reinstall the OS on the system disk without losing snapshots stored on it. Now, I'm running this on a VM, so I'm not really concerned about that. And VirtualBox 6.0 Manager gives me the capability of creating snapshots on the VM itself. So if I run into a problem, I can revert to a previous snapshot. Uh, within VirtualBox 6.0 Manager, so it's not a big deal. But I wanted to show you this application in case you want to set it up on your system if you're installing it, especially Fedora 31 Workstation on bare metal. All right, so it's done now, and so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish, and it's going to go ahead and start the snapshot process here. All right, 
uh, once I create it. All right, so let's let's take a look at what we have here first. If I click restore, it lets me go to our previous restore points, but it says that no snapshots are selected. So there were none to, to pick from here, but if I had already created a snapshot, one would be there and I could restore back to that. I could select the one I want to go back to. You've got delete, you've got browse, you've got settings, and here under settings, you've got the, the things that I just showed you, okay? And so here we can set up the schedule again or whatever you want to do. Uh, so let me go ahead and close that. Get back to here. Here's the wizard, and then here's the menu uh, to view the time shift logs or the about. And the about tells us a little bit about time shift. It's version 19.01. It's a system restore utility. It is available on GitHub, and here's where you go get it, okay? And then here's the credits and the license. Let me close this. Let me go ahead and create the first snapshot for the system. I'm going to click the Create button here, and it's going to go out and start creating automatically that snapshot uh, for the system here. And I am going to go ahead and uh, stop this process because you don't have to sit here and watch this whole thing run because it's going to take a while uh, because this is a fairly large um, snapshot that it's taking of the system. Typically, on average, uh, this runs for about 12 minutes to 15 minutes. On my one terabyte hard drive on the laptop, I think it took about 12 to 15 minutes the first time through. And then on successive snapshots, uh, it does not do a snapshot of the entire thing necessarily if files have remained unchanged. Uh, it, it will do an incremental snapshot, if you will. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and come back when it's completed. Okay, we're back. Um, time shift has completed the process here. And um, you can see from this uh, window here that we have a snapshot created on 2019, 11, 13 at 10, 49, 28. The system was Fedora 31. Um, there were roughly 199,000 files that were impacted here that were backed up uh, in this snapshot and uh, of those one changed and then there was one permission change. I'm not quite sure what that was uh, I mean, I was able to see that uh, when I did. If you do browse I think you could probably see that. Um, let me just do a quick browse here no, that's not going to do it either. I, I'm not sure how to find that information. Um, but anyway, uh, I noticed that when it was completing. This process took about um, 15 minutes, which is normal. Uh, we do have the one snapshot here indicated, and it says that the latest snapshot is the time I just told you. We have 31.7 gigabytes of available space remaining. Um, this is a, um, I believe I gave it, 35 gigabytes. No, I gave it 50. I gave it 50 gigabytes of uh, total space, I believe. It might have been less than that. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, it is done. And if I wanted to restore, I could click restore. Uh, if I wanted to restore back to a previous, uh, I could select that one and hit store, restore. And I, I don't want to do that because it may start doing it. Um, if there were like five of them here, I could go to pick the one I wanted on the day I wanted it. If I knew that a change that I had made or a file that I had deleted was after a particular snapshot that was created, I could select the snapshot just prior to that deletion and then hit restore and it would go back and restore. I have ch tested this out on my laptop. I know it works. So it's a great a little, uh, little application. Highly recommend it to you. Um, so give um, time shift. A look. Um, in my case, I have five um, snapshots selected on a daily basis here on this VM. And um, when the sixth snapshot is created, it takes the oldest snapshot from the five and removes it and replaces it with the brand new one. And so you always have no more than five snapshots, depending on the number you select, obviously. I have five in my case. Uh, and so that uh, that works very well. All right, so this has been a quick look at TimeShift, a utility in Linux for um, restoring your system from a previous restore point, uh, either performed manually or automatically by the system using cron. 
And I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video and you, and you thought it was helpful, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell off to the right hand side when you do subscribe so you get updated every time I update a video to the uh, YouTube channel. So this is the Linux Unix Tech Channel. My name is Data Pioneer and have a great day. Thank you.